All right, hello, I'm Sparky and welcome to Sparky's Grow Room. This is an update on the seed germination for the Seedswin Cali Cowboy Grow Off um, being held over at Percy's Grow Room. You can see up front, the two closest to the camera are the two seedlings that have just germinated here in the last uh, 72 hours. These are Runstone Cowboys and you can see that um, they have sprouted, they've dropped their seed shells, uh, they're growing in rock wool with just a little bit of a mild uh, nutrient solution for seedlings and clones. Um, and you can see that the one on the right is actually uh, developed some root hairs. I'm going to see if I can't zoom in here a little bit closer. Okay, now the seedling on the right, you can see uh, it appears as though just here during germination and its initial sprouting, that's that taproot shooting down uh, into the hole of the rock wool. And it looks like we've got some air uh, rootlet hairs up close to the base of the seedling there. And I think it's just pushed itself out. Now, personally, I've never had this happen before. Um, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens here in the next uh, 12 or 24 hours or so. What I might do is lift that piece of rock wool out, which is sliced uh, top to bottom. Um, and maybe see about getting that tap root uh, down uh, deeper into the hole in the rock wool. Now, I really recommend not trying to do that and never messing with a uh, seedling, um, particularly one that is just, just germinated. They are so very fragile. So it could be that I might need to pop another seed depending upon what happens. Okay, everyone, here are the two Runstone Cowboy uh, seedlings. And as you can see, the one on the right uh, last night before I went to bed, I kind of uh, very gently lifted that up out of the rock wool cube, uh, which is split kind of lengthwise top to bottom like a hot dog bun. And then I dropped that tap root down in between the two halves of the rock wool cube and buttoned it back up. Uh, and it has now been about 12 hours since I've done that and it seems to be no worse for the wear. So time will tell if I've done any damage to those root hairs that were up there at the, uh, at the top, uh, right below the uh, seedling stem. But so far, so good. Those two are looking fine. And then we've got a very leggy lemon tree over here on the left uh, and the honey peach uh, CBD is catching up. We're gonna give these a little bit of time, uh, keep them drinking this uh, nice light a nutrient solution for seedlings, and I hope you'll check back later. Thanks for stopping by.